I'm super stoked to show you guys this episode, because at the end we check out the Red Rocks of Los Gatos. Just imagine you're in the Red Rock Desert of southern Utah, but surrounded by the ocean. On the last episode, we explored Isla San Francisco, and after a quick sail north, we stop in the small fishing village of San Evaristo to get more food and water. This is a crucial stop for a lot of boats passing through because it's in the middle of La Paz and Loreto while still offering some protection. Join us as we meet some new friends, catch up with old friends, catch a couple of fish, and continue our journey in the Sea of Cortez. Get some food and beer. I'm hungry. <laughs> Flats of San Evaristo. Going for a little hack. Now I come to my house. Ah, okay. okay. Listo. We're in French. Uh -huh. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. He sells candies. He sells candies? Oh, and this and chewing gum. This. This is cremino, avellana. Cremino chocolate. Is chocolate. Ah, ah. Oh, yeah. nice. Why do you want some, babe? Kind of. After doing a little exploring, we decide to hole up in San Evaristo for a few more days while a little storm passes by. The next morning, we run into some friends and put in an order of vegetables from Jesus Romero on the beach. There's also a small restaurant that opens up when the sailors start pouring in. It offers Wi-Fi and a garbage service. If you need water, there's a desalination plant managed by Aguatoni, which you can always hail on channel 16. Holy smokes, it's Wiley! 
We Why met in this exact spot right here, and you gave me a pair of sunglasses. I still got them hanging up. Yeah, you still got the fillet knife? Yeah. What's yeah? What's that? You still got the fillet knife? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's my main fillet knife. Right That's on. so fucking righteous. Oh, How you man. been, man? Really good. Really good. Yeah. I knew I knew the boat, but I just couldn't place it. Yeah, totally, man. This is yeah. super rad. Yeah, I think it's cool that we end up meeting up in the exact same spot that, that we met really last bizarre. time. <laughs> this is Lila. Lila, hi. 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 hi there, nice to meet you. Yeah, Wiley? Cool. Yeah, Wiley. Like well, Wiley Wiley's Coyote or? It's like Wiley Coyote. The <laughs> Definitely boat came, Wiley Coyote. <laughs> came with that name and then oh, Wiley okay. Dave sort of surfaced. Nice. <laughs> San Evaristo. Here you go, motherfucking spearfishing. Pretty little package. Cause they'll let you play music real damn loud. Don't stop it inside. Cause they'll understand the words that are pouring from your mouth. Don't stop going, going south. They will understand the words that are pouring. Five days later, <laughs> we kind of got stuck in San Avaristo. It was so nice, and the people are so lovely. favorite anchorages in the Sierra Cortez that I've ever been to. So gorgeous. Got that full moon behind us. It's been in 
Puerto Los Gatos for two nights. It's been super rocky. So just decided to come hang out on the land for a little bit. Such a gorgeous landscape here. The rocks are just out of control. Man's been going camping out in the red rocks, out in the middle of the desert. Everything's going great with the boat. My wrist is still messed up, but we've just been relaxing a lot on the boat, hanging out. It's been so great to just be alone, out of service, far away from any real cities. We're starting to run low on stuff. I think I'm almost out of gas. Got a, we've got a good amount of water, but it's all from a water maker. So we're just kind of stuck drinking that. We're hitting about a month here. In like, I think three days we're at a month. Um, so we're about halfway through the trip. I am really, really amped. Really excited to head north. Patrick and his girlfriend are gonna be here for five days. And from there, we're gonna go, probably just hang out Isla Carmen. Spend four days there. And then after that, we've got just about 20 days, I think. Maybe 10 days, yeah, 10 days to get down to Puerto Vallarta. Missing Utah, being this, in this landscape out in this desert makes me miss Utah a lot. But I'm happy, I'm loving it, we're cruising. Here's Lila. This part of the coast is really exposed and we have a few miserable nights while we work our way north. I try to focus more on staying safe and healthy than I do on recording videos. Most of this is all pretty new to me, so finding a balance between learning to sail and creating videos has been pretty tough, but it's all part of the experience. <laughs> 